I was aware that Monica seemed, from the time she was a kid, very, very aware of color. She was always asking about color uh, and, and light and very sensitive to, <clears throat> to the visual world which to me was really fascinating because she, she had no obvious access to the visual world. Um, her work is super cool and her use of color is fascinating. For somebody who is blind to have color, you know, have such a presence in your work is really cool and like our goal is to give people a voice uh, through artwork. Creative growth is somewhat unique in the sense of it's a professional level studio arts program for people with disabilities. It's not just a rec recreation program. They take a very serious approach uh, toward um, cultivating and supporting their artists. I love the, I love, I love the people here tonight, I like the job. Mm, mm, I can party too. She's a terrific example of, of uh, triumph over adversity. Monica was the fourth of eight children. Um, she was born prematurely, and through mistakes in administering oxygen, she lost her vision and she sustained some mild developmental impact. Monica, from the beginning, has been an incredibly uh, aware, sensitive, and very talented human being. I used to experiment with her when we were kids and I would get either clothes or material, different colors, and I would have her feel it. And I would say, Monica, what color is this? And her, um, her accuracy rate was way beyond chance, you know? And uh, it seemed to me at that very young age that she had this, this other kind of connection to the visual plane. Monica and I had visited Creative Growth in Oakland uh, in the course of looking for different uh, programs. And as soon as I got to Creative Growth, I thought, man, I can totally see Monica here. Because this is like a bright place for bright people. But Monica wanted to, to have money in her pocket, and I wasn't sure about how much money she could make from her artwork because at the time it seemed like a more reliable source of income to have her in a work program. So it wasn't until Monica had this major accident and broke her hip um, at, that um, this opportunity uh, opened up. Because of her hip injury, she couldn't sit or stand for long periods of time and I thought, you know, maybe this is the time for her to check out Creative Growth. And um, she never looked back. You know, she's able to support herself. She's able to supplement her, her income with her artwork, which in the, the regular community is hard enough to do. But for Monica to be able to do that, for creative growth to afford Monica that opportunity is rare and it is not to be underestimated in terms of its value to her. Over the years that I've worked with her, I think she's definitely become to self-identify as a professional artist and I think you know, that is, that has to do with um, representation. I think she's been shown internationally. Her work often sells before it's even finished. People, you know, uh, really respond to her work. Her work has been sold in um, Nordstrom stores, anthropology stores, uh, Barney's of New York. She can't make them fast enough. Uh, there is a list of uh, collectors who uh, uh, are just ready to buy her work. So uh, this is, uh, again, a tribute to Creative Growth for really um, getting the word out about Monica and her fellow artists. It just is so incredibly gratifying because, you know, it's a place where she's understood and she can be herself. She can totally in indulge in her passion for color and light, reflectors. She is a um, real example of just shining right where she is and letting who she is come through, regardless of how it may seem on the surface, you know, and regardless of how many times uh, she gets frustrated by people not understanding her or trying to control her or trying to diminish her, she still comes back. She has this indomitable spirit and this strong will. Why would you not support these people? They have so much to offer us. They have so many talents and so many abilities and just by their own example of who they are, they inspire. Hey, Moni. Who's this? It's Elena. I like you a lot. Oh, I'll tell you, I love we'll take you. you.